680's Richard Southern joins us now. Richard, yesterday you told us how Elon Musk is planning on bringing humans to Mars. Well, now a NASA scientist is speaking out on the possible danger of discovering life on the red planet. Yeah, the truth is out there, Erica, and it might be a lot closer at hand than we think. NASA's chief scientist, uh, very interesting comments from him. His name is Dr. Jim Green. He says, NASA is close to finding life on Mars, but the world is not ready for the implications of that discovery. He warned that two new rovers, which will be going to Mars, he says, could find traces of microbial life there within months of arriving, starting in March of 2021. These rovers will drill deep down. They will analyze those samples uh, to look for organic matter. Uh, the NASA scientists compared the potential discovery of microbial life on Mars to Copernicus, who back in the 16th century, Eric, stated that Earth revolves around the sun, which didn't go over very well back then. They thought he was crazy. They locked him up. Uh, so it's an interesting thing to think about as, you know, we get maybe close at hand to finding some maybe old microbial life mm. up on the red planet. Very cool. Well, uh, meanwhile, scientists in Sweden may have found the key to understanding why it becomes easier to gain weight as we get older. <laughs> I think I gained weight looking at all that steak B-roll a few minutes ago. <laughs> uh, this is interesting. New study out of Sweden finds even if our diet and exercise levels remain the same, we are still likely to gain weight as we age. You know this, if you're getting older, it's true. And it finds the reason for this, Erica, is because the rate at which fat cells are removed and stored decreases as we get older. It's called lipid turnover. So those who don't compensate for that by either eating less or exercising more can gain an average of 20%. Uh, as they age. So they say it very much is important as you get older to you know, step away from your desk, take a walk, take a yoga class, all that good stuff. It looks like um, you have more lipid turnover than I than I do, Erica. I'm going to have to stay away from that red meat, even if it is good for me. <laughs> you know, I try. I tell myself every day I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to go to the gym, but it's going to catch up with me. So, you know, I know. Catch uh, it. Nothing's fun about aging, Erica, no, let me tell you. No. Uh, now on to the next one. Automation at its finest. Have you heard or I don't, what is the smart can? Uh, who wants to bring the garbage to the curb? You don't have to. Look at this, Erica. <laughs> wow. Uh, it's garbage day and it's just going to do it itself, the garbage can. Uh, this is called the smart can. Yeah, it rolls to the curb for you. You punch in the specific day and time you want it to go out there. And once the uh, the collectors take the garbage, off it goes back to your house. The company developing this is called Resi. It says it will be out next year. There's no price tag yet. Does face some challenges, especially if you're living in downtown Toronto with the busy streets. Uh, it's not clear exactly how the smart garbage can will work, but sign us up, right? We want we want to get in on that because he wants to bring the garbage out. Very right? convenient. Very cool. <laughs> All right. Thanks for joining us, Richard. See you tomorrow. Take care.